Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Sasha Reed and today I have a fun and special guest in my studio. This is Rosalie. And how old are you? Seven years old. And Rosalie is going to be showing us how to make a Christmas bauble. So she's going to lead the first part of this tutorial and I will come in and do the more advanced bit in a minute. So to get started, we will need some double-sided papers and some, some string. We've got some pretty sparkly string for this one. It's a very beautiful glittery string. And here we've got some glue and a pencil. And we've got a cup. And we need the cup so we can make some circles. So you will put the cup on the piece of paper and use your pencil to draw around it. And you're going to need to trace it and then we're going to cut it out and you will need you'll need six pieces you will need six circles. So once you have six circles, you will need you will need to fold them in half and create them. You will need to do all six of them. And then you'll get your glue and glue glue a side of the first one and then glue the other one together there. And make, and make sure it's stuck there and, and then and only glue half then you get the other one and you and then you glue you glue the side of it then you get another one and glue it on the bottom on the side where and then you glue it on the side where it, it then you glue it on and then you add the the fifth one and glue it on. Make sure it's stuck. Then the sixth one and make sure it's stuck on there. Now put it uh, now put it open. Now you'll need your string. And you will need to get a bit. You will need to get a. Uh, a short bit of string. You you will tie a knot. Uh, you will make get a circle <coughs> and tie a knot at the other side, and then cut the extras off, and then glue the side where you haven't glued it. So you need to put your string in the middle and glue it shut and it has to be deep in there. So you need to make sure your, your pieces of paper are glued shut and very, very tight. And there you have your nice Christmas bubble to hang on your Christmas tree. So that was my daughter, if you guys didn't work that out, and she has taught us the core basics of our Christmas baubles. So now we're going to take those basics and we're going to apply them to a bit more of a complex um, creation. So starting with this one, we're going to use some fabric glitter. I've got this stuff which I bought from AliExpress. It's like felt, but glitter felt, and it's really nice. I've also got some of these dies. They are for the Sizzix machine. They are called Biggs dies, and what they are is that they're... Um, a lot chunkier so they can cut through metal, they can cut through leather, they can cut through multiple sheets of cardstock in one go. So they're really nice to kind of have a play with. And I've got these three shapes here today which I'm using in the videos. So to get started I'm going to cut out my circles um, out of my felt fabric and this just glided through 
like butter, which is really nice. Now you can see my pieces are slightly wet looking and that's because I tried my mixed media glue first and the felt just absorbed it completely so it didn't work at all. So I'm coming in with my hot glue gun. I will share this glue gun with you in just a minute. Um, coming up in the next little section. Um, it is a Bosch glue gun. It's really good. It gets really nice and hot and has a nice fine tip on it. So for this bauble, I'm just going ahead and using four pieces. You could use anywhere from six to nine. Some people have used 12. So I've got four in this one. Before I seal it and finish it off, I'm going to grab some tool and I'm going to use the tool as my sort of ribbon um, for this one. I really like tool. It's nice and flexible and it can look really big when it's actually um, quite small. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to twist the tool. By twisting it you can make it like a little thin rope and I'm sorry I go off camera there for a minute. So I'm twisting it nice and small and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure to open it up as wide as I can. So I've got that little crease in the middle. I'm going to fill that crease with a bit of hot glue and I'm going to tuck in my tool into that crease. So I want to make sure that the tool is not really in between the two flaps, but that is inside the center of my bobble. Otherwise, it will end up adding bulk to that one side and it might look a bit funny and your tool also might be to the left rather than in the center kind of thing. So I've got this tool here, which I picked up from Aldi. It came in like a hot glue gun set um, and it's just a silicone um, tool that's got a pointy end on one side and a flat end on the other. So I've just used that tool to kind of poke it in there with the hot glue. And then I'm adding the hot glue on that side to seal it shut. And I've just got a nice little sparkly bauble. That would be a nice little gift um, for someone. I'm gonna also come in and add a little bead on the top just to kind of pull that string together nicely when it comes out the end of my bauble. And then I've got this beautiful little ornament as a nice little gift or that I could hang on our Christmas tree at home. And you could customize it and have different colors that kind of match your decor for that year. Um, they're really simple and easy. And again, like I said, you could have more than four and have a much more dimensional bobble. Moving on to the next one is using baubles or making baubles that contain different shapes. So I've got this octagonal octagon um, bobble set and this paper here, um, which is from Apple Blossom. And it is a slightly sheen kind of paper. So it's not a nice matted paper. It's, um, it kind of feels a bit like magazine paper, but thick. So I've got six sheets of it here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut one out of each sheet. My octagon is quite big, so I'm only gonna be able to fit one on each sheet, which is why I'm using one per sheet. So I've gone ahead and cut out all those shapes. And now this set is quite nice. You can do this technique with any die as long as they are symmetrical. So they're the same on the left as the right. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold them all in half. You wanna make sure your pattern is facing inside. So you see I folded the first one the wrong way the first time. Because we're gonna apply the adhesive on the outside, we wanna fold the pattern inside so that that is the pattern that is showing. So I'm going ahead and folding them all exactly in half and I'm using my bone folder to kind of score them and crease them nice and tight. Then I'm going to go and arrange them in the order that I want them in and I'm going to have that order lying on my desk. I've got my Nuvo Deluxe Glue which is a really strong, really quick drying glue and I advise you to have either a very, very strong liquid glue or a really reliable tape runner. Sometimes I find tape runners don't stick very well so you've got to be careful that you've got one that is really, really tacky. The other nice thing with a liquid glue is it gives you a bit of wiggle room to get your edges lined up nice and even. So I'm going ahead and I'm gluing those together one side at a time all the way until I get to the very end. So here I am, I've got them all glued together and this is where I've got my last little bit and I'm going to add my string. Now to put my string in the middle, I'm taking some double sided tape and this is quite a nice strong double sided tear tape. I'm just lining it on that um, seam just there where all of them join together and I'm just attaching my string to that double sided tape. It's very very thin string so it doesn't go any wider than the width of those panels that I've glued together. Now I can go ahead and make sure that string is nice and central inside and then I can glue those two flaps together and that finishes off this Christmas bauble. Now you can decorate your Christmas bauble. You could um, add some extra bling to them. Um, you could add some die cuts and make them really dimensional and really pretty. Or you could just leave them as is with the beautiful decorative paper. 
So the other option that you can do with these is as you're gluing them together, you could take some um, various bits of fabric and you could glue them so that they're sticking around the edges of your bauble if you wanted. For this one, I decided that I would try and bling up the center of each of the pages of the bauble, if that makes sense. I've got these jewels here. They're little diamantes and they've got their self-adhesive on the back. They're all stuck together in one long strip. Now the nice thing about these is that you can usually find these kinds of things at the dollar store or the pound shop, one of the really, really cheap shops. They come all stuck together, which for a lot of crafters is kind of annoying because usually you just want one jewel at a time. But for this kind of decorating, it works a right treat. So you can just line up your little gems all down the center between each of those baubles. Now I did push a bit hard and they did shift a little bit so I had to reposition quite a few of them by the time I was done. So I won't hold it as flat the next time. Now I'm going to move on to another one. This is a leather skirt that I picked up on eBay. I wanted to do um, a leather bound book so I went and bought some used fabric on eBay. Never got round to it so I'm going to do a bobble out of it today. I've got this die here which cuts a scallop circle and here's my Bosch glue gun that I said I would show you in more detail. It's a really nice glue gun that gets very hot very quick. Now I've gone ahead and assembled it just like I've done in all the other ones um, and I've just stuck it together. It's kind of gone a bit wonky. I should have ironed it. I don't know if you can iron um, leather or not <laughs> but um, next time I'll be sure to use a little bit less hot glue so it's a little bit more even and a bit more flexible but this is my leather bobble. So moving on to the next set of bobbles this is going to be a fun one I'm not sure if you've ever made one like this before but this is going to be a slightly different bobble. So I've got some paper here it's 120 GSM I have gone ahead and I have die cut out nine circles. So again, you can use um, a circular object to trace if you haven't got dies, but I have used some dies and I've cut nine circles out. Again, we're gonna go ahead and fold them all in half. So the same as the first whole set of um, baubles we've done. However, this set is now going to go a different direction. So make sure you're paying attention. So we've got all nine done and folded. I'm gonna take this stapler here this is um, from Amazon. It is an e industrial stapler. It punches through something like 30 sheets of paper. So it can punch through really, really thick stuff or staple, I should say. We're going to staple them all together in the middle. I'm going to show you another way to do this without using a stapler. So make sure you stick around if you have not got a stapler that can do industrial. What we're going to do is you're going to place a little dot of glue at the top. Then you're going to close it, pinch it shut. Then you're going to do a little dot of glue at the bottom and you're going to keep rotating in between each and every single piece of your bobble. So one at the top, close it, one at the bottom, close it and carry on. Then you're going to get to the halfway point, you can fold it over at that point, um, remember which way you're going, which direction and then you're just going to apply a dot of glue and close it, a dot of glue and close it all the way until you get to the very end. When you get to the end, as long as you've got a nice strong quick drying glue you'll be able to turn it all the way over. Now it does take a bit of wiggling, it is quite stiff because you are stretching that paper and getting that beautiful shape going on. So you're going to pull it and stretch it round to the other side and you're going to add your dot of glue which because you've done an uneven number is going to make it so that you're doing um, an even number of dots if that makes sense. So both those side pieces have had their recent dot of glue on the bottom and I'm gluing it on the top. Um, so you get this beautiful bobble which has kind of got some dimension and some character to it and because we've got the double sided paper you can see both designs. So doing this technique and trick you need to have double sided paper. Now I'm going to show you again Reminder here that you can use any circular shape to cut out circles and get whatever size you want to get. Um, my tape's a bit wonky, <laughs> so I pretend it's an actual circle. So we're going to go ahead again and fold them all in half. Now this time I'm going to share with you how you put the string in because I got so excited doing the first one <laughs> I didn't put any string in. So when you're doing this pattern paper, which it is really, really helpful for you to either have solid colored cardstock or a double sided pattern paper make sure your pattern is going the correct direction when you're folding it. You don't want your pattern paper facing the wrong way. So here you can see I'm going ahead and I'm snipping both ends of the paper. 
So if you see me there, it's got a little snip at the top and a little snip at the bottom. Now we're going to come in again with some tool and I'm going to wrap it around and kind of stick it in between those little snips. And I'm going around twice so that they meet back at the top. At the top, I'm then going to tie a nice tight um, knot and the rest of it is all kind of stuck in between those little creases that we cut, if that makes sense. So it's holding our bobble all together like a staple would do because we've got this nice tight bit of tool holding it all together. So now we're going to go ahead and do exactly what we did before and we're going to apply some glue, one at the top, stick it together, and then one towards the bottom. You're about three quarters from the top and about three quarters from the bottom. You can use glue dots if you like as well. The only thing is that it needs to be very strong because when you use paper, it's a bit more flexible. This is actually cardstock. I think this is 250 GSM, this double-sided cardstock. So it does take a bit of time to curl it and open it up. So here's our finished bobble. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bead to the top, just to kind of add a little bit of character to the top of that bobble. But it is gorgeous. It's all from one paper pad, so they all go together. All the papers I've used are a really nice collection of papers. And it just makes a really quick and easy, fun bobble that you could use and you could either give it to someone or stick it on your tree and display some of those beautiful papers that we like to hoard. So I've just gone ahead and tied a knot on the top and there's our finished bobble. How awesome is that? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you had fun. I hope you inspired to make some yourself. There are a few different designs here for you to choose from. If you've got a little one in your life, then stick them on and let them enjoy Rosalie's tutorial. She would love to see your comments. She's told me she's going to read every comment that pops up. So if you do have a comment for her please do leave it down below she was so nervous about doing this video but she did a cracking job and I think she's gonna have her own YouTube channel one day thank you so much for joining us and I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you on Saturday bye